and welcome to your story time session this afternoon. Now I've brought my little friend with me today to our story session and can you remember his name? What's he called? Well done, he's called Elmer and he's a patchwork elephant and elephants are my favourite animal. Now I read an Elba story to you a few weeks ago so I thought I'd read you another one and this one today is called Elma again. Okay, so I hope you're sitting comfortably. Alma, the patchwork elephant, was bored. It was two days before another Elma's Day Parade, the day when elephants cover themselves with bright patterns. The colours were ready and the elephants were quietly thinking about how they would decorate themselves. Alma didn't have to think. He was always coloured grey for the parade, the only grey elephant Time for a walk, he said to himself. As he walked, Alma thought, It's too quiet around here. We need a joke or something to liven things up. He came to a pool and looked at his reflection. Hello, Alma, he said to himself in the water. You've just given me a good idea. Thank you. When he returned, the others were still quietly thinking. Alma went up to one of them and whispered in his ear. The other elephant smiled and winked but said nothing. Alma set it down for a rest. He had a long night in front of him. When night fell, Alma waited until the others were asleep. Then, taking care not to wake them, he set to work. Before sunrise, he had finished and he tiptoed off to another part of the forest to sleep for what was left of the night. In the morning, the first elephant to wake looked at his neighbour and said, Good morning, Elma. One after, one after another, the elephants woke and as they did, from every direction came, Good morning, Elma. Good morning, Elma. Good morning, Elma. Good morning, Elma. Good morning, Alma, and so on. What do you think he's done? Let's have a look. Oh, wow, look. During the night, Alma had painted all the elephants to look like him. Now there were Elmas everywhere, and nobody knew which was the real one. Then the elephants started to speak to each other and say things like, Are you Elma? I don't know, the others might say. I might be today, but I'm sure I wasn't yesterday. <laughs> what a good joke. Then one of the elephants called out, This is another Elma trick. Come on, let's splash across the river and wash off the colours. Then we'll see who the real Elma is. The elephants raced to the river and splashed and sploshed their way to the other side. Once on the other side, the elephants stared. They were all grey. Where's Alma? they asked. Here, of course, said a grey elephant. Don't you recognise me? But you're the same colour as us, gasped the others. So I am, said Alma. Wonderful. I always wanted to be like you. This is awful, said another elephant. Alma can't be like the rest of us. Things won't be the same without an Alma. Well. There's nothing I can do about it, said Alma, unless... What, said the others. Well, said Alma, the colours that wash off all still floated on the water. Perhaps if I run across through them, I may return to normal. Try it, shouted the others. Try anything to get your colours back. Woohoo, called Alma. And he raced across the river and vanished into the tree onto the other side. Almost at once, he reappeared, puffing and panting, but once again in his bright patchwork colours. Hooray! cheered the elephants from across the river. It worked! We've got our Elma back! With that, the elephants started chanting, Elma! 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 Beside Elma, another elephant suddenly appeared from out of the tree. Did you call? he asked. The other elephants went silent and stared. This other elephant was soaking wet, as if he had just not run across the river. On top of that, 
both Alma and the other elephant were laughing. You tricked us, said one elephant to the wet grey elephant. You were working with Alma and pretended to be him. We should have known Alma's colours wouldn't wash off. It's another's Alma's trick. With that, the whole herd of elephants busted out laughing and running back into the river, they started to splash the two Almas and each other and once again they chanted, Alma, 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 until the whole jungle shook with their noisy game. The end. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care for now. Bye bye.